Hey y'all, welcome to the video. Jiggity Jack here, signing on to the new location. We got another mansion on the go. We got the exterior walls done up on the in the basement. And right now we're just working on this little room. I have an idea for it. I'm just trying to figure it out as I go, as usual. But I'm gonna make this an actual uh, shooting range. On this side here, it's gonna be our uh, pistols and shotguns. And then around the corner, we're gonna have it going two stories high. So we can aim up a little bit and that's gonna be just for arrows. So right now I'm just extending these walls and then I'm gonna set up some targets. I'm not really sure how the targets work yet. So that's gonna be all brand new. I haven't even tried the targets yet, so hopefully it works. But I'm hoping I can make different um, kind of little structures and then put the targets on them and that's gonna that will be my different target ranges i'm gonna have some closer up a couple further back all different heights and then uh yeah we'll just have to try it and see how it goes but for now we're just gonna finish up these walls i hear somebody out there banging on them so we'll go see what's going on outside where is he at? I definitely gotta get some defense walls up. I tried to hit him with a log and I missed. I ain't gonna miss now. Maybe I did. I ain't gonna miss now for sure. Oh, I didn't miss that time. Calvin coming over to steal my logs. I was just about to use those. That's the worst thing about them. If they're collecting logs, they'll come take it right at your feet just as you drop them. Caught a little squirrel here, so I might as well cut him apart. Gonna need some food as I'm starving. Calvin's starving too, he's there chomping down on the blueberries. So then, what do we got here? Oh, I thought Virginia was giving us something, but I guess not. Our little fire pit from the first episode. Now let's hang up our meat. Get that drying out. We got one rotten piece there, but I can stay there for now. We got Kelvin bringing us some logs. And I think the coast is clear so I can get back to work. So we'll grab a couple of these here logs. Kelvin, you did have a task to do and you ain't done yet. We'll get him right back to work and then I will be too. I thought I heard something over here, but winter's definitely coming too. Yeah, so we'll have to get some roofs put on and get this place buttoned up a little bit so at least I'll have somewhere dry to go. But for now, we're just gonna worry about our shooting range for some target practice. Throw these couple logs down. Oh, I guess I can't get that one in, so... How are you guys picking sticks up through the floor? This looked like it was damaged, but... I guess it's not. We're good to go. Couple times I'll leave the structure damage left on by accident. I don't remember until I hear walls falling down, so just making sure everything's nice and tight and not about to not about to fall down on us. Slam the door right in my face, Calvin. Thanks, buddy. Grab our logs and we'll get back to her. We're gonna need a lot of light bulbs for this place too. All right, here's something. Where are they at? Oh yeah, a little group of them. Where are you guys going? I invite you to the party. 
Ooh, buddy just flat Kelvin over there. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming. Ooh, I almost took Kelvin's head off. Ooh, smoked him that time. Sorry, Kelvin, I think that was me, buddy. I got my mighty stick out. Another nice view. I think that's all of them. Alright, so now we'll grab our logs again. And we'll head back in and now we gotta set up some targets. So I'm gonna put one there. I think we're gonna cut this. Hoping I can put this. Where is it? There, it? there we go. And then this one goes across. Oh, now I need a full log. We can still use that though, so we'll put this one right here. Or is that too close? Um, where's the little thingy at? Should be right there. We go. I don't know if this one's too close or not. Oh no, that should be all right. We got our little windows up here to shoot from. So this here is what's gonna hold my targets. Might change that one up a little bit. I wish we could just lay these anywhere as we wanted to. Have them all offset. Oh, that's kind of cool though. It's a good target holder. We'll finish that one off and... I wish I had one more block of space so I could space these out a little better. Um, again, I'm just trying to Trying to see what works and what doesn't. I don't really have much of a plan for down here, so I'm just seeing what we can come up with. Virginia gave us thumbs up, so she's happy. I wonder if I could use stones for this too. Stone might be a little easier to set up. Oh, we'll make it work though. Whatever we gotta do. Just a couple more target holders and we should be good. This doesn't gotta be nothing fancy or anything, but just something to slap a couple targets on. And that will probably do. That's good for this side, I think. This will be... This will be the shotgun side. We're gonna extend those walls. So I've been working into the night. Getting interrupted again. What is that? One of those demon things. Where's my little cross at? Let's give this a try. How you like this, you little demon? You guys can burn. Jeez, they're, they're everywhere. I'll go burning down my, my new mansion, though. Okay, where's that other one? Oh, we got Kelvin in the pile, too. Pretty sure we got one more of those demons running around here somewhere, though. There he is. Burn. Just like that. Little cross works pretty good. Okay, so we got this almost complete. We gotta add our shells, and this is where we're gonna stick our bullets. And then we'll do the same over here, and these are gonna be the, the pistol rounds. Into nine millimeters. 
Where are they? There we go. So we're just going to fill the shelves up as much as we can. And over here. There is a quicker way to do this, so I'm just going to drop one down. There we go, and then we can fill them up like this a lot faster. Sucks it's only one bullet at a time, but it is what it is. Okay, now that shelf is full. Then over here, we're going to put down some shotgun shells. Probably the slugs, I guess. Yep. I don't have any of the other bullets anyways, but that'd be no good for in, in here. Just blow the holes through the walls. Come on now. One more box here. And one more box here. And we'll fill those up. There we go. All full. Excuse me, Virginia. So now we're just going for a little nature walk. and Apparently we have a camp right down the hill. I didn't even see this. So I had to quiet those guys down so they're not bringing us a bunch of attention. There we go. Give me my arrows back, please. Come on now. I want that arrow. There we go. Ooh, what a shot. That was a good jump shot. So we'll check this, ca this little camp out. See what kind of goodies they got hidden here. Oh, there's one of them unicycles, the Night 5. That's good to know. Oh, I thought I could hear something. Ah, oh, right in the face. I'll slow you down. Just running with the deer I am. Oh, we got another guy. Oh. And another guy. Oh, I got him too. That was a good shot. Oh, I hear another one. Something. There he is. I missed. Missed again. Ooh, I think I missed again. I didn't miss that time. There, I think that's all of them. a couple arrows and we can get back to work a little look off from the first balcony and going in this is both of the roofs of the shooting ranges so over down below there that's going to be the arrows we still got to set that up but that one's going to be two stories high anyway, so that one's going to take a little bit extra work. So might as well get started on that. Don't want to take a lot of logs. So we got to put in all the pillars, and then all the cross beams, and then more pillars, then more cross beams, and then the floor above. And then take it all back down, hopefully. Or else we're going to be stuck with a bunch of logs in the middle of our room. So we'll slap these down. I think it does matter the way you put them down. If you put them down just randomly, I think they're harder to remove. So just keep them in the straight line. And then we're up on the next floor. So we're just going to add the second layer. And then once we get all these up, we can add our floor above and then we can take these all back down. Ah, oh, dang it. Of course I missed and I gotta run all the way back around.
Darn it. So now we gotta patch up these walls because we need them the same height the whole way around. So we're just gonna carry over a bunch of logs and get this all finished up. And then we can start putting the floor on. Now these here, just to make it so I can walk through a little easier, makes it harder to fall off, even though I just did. Okay, we gotta cut this guy. Now we're gonna start putting all of our, our um, what are they called? I have no idea what they're called at the moment. Braces, I guess they're called. So we'll put up all of our braces so we can get these studs all out. And then we should be able to remove these braces as well. If I can get around this without falling off. There we go. I should be able to remove this, and I can't for some reason. So maybe I'll have to go the other way with it. Cause this one I got all the all the out. Oh yeah, need another jo or another brace up in that one. So I got all of the all the studs in, so we're just finishing up the floor here now. I could probably do over the balcony too. At least then it'll be all complete. So we'll throw these down. And... Oh, we got a few more over here. Now them ones are all finished up. And then some for the balcony. At least it will block the rain a bit. And there we go. We got all the boards on. Balcony's covered. All the roofs are covered. We have a place to go to stay out of the rain. So now... What do we gotta do now? Ah, shoot. I forgot the electrical. So... I have to remove some of these boards and see if we can get wires all along to hang lights up down there. Hopefully this will be easier than it's trying to show me it's going to be. There we go, we got that one in. So now we have to run wire from all these beams straight across so we can hang lights all into the target range. So that should be efficient enough to get a wire in. There we go. It's not making it easy, but it is working. I just have to line it up perfect. So we got the wires all in. We got our fire pit on. I don't know where everybody is. But yeah, it's a nice cool little spot to stay out of the rain. We got a fireplace down below it. It's definitely gonna, this is definitely gonna be a cool mansion when we're done. It's gonna be huge too. I don't see anybody bugging us. So then down this hallway here, this is gonna be like a little overlook area so you can see down below into the uh, into the arrow range, in case I had a spectator or something that wanted to watch as somebody shoots. And then all we need down here is some, ki some kind of railing so you don't fall off, but that will be fairly easy to do. We'll clean up those logs a little bit, since they were only the boards anyways, so we need some full logs up there. And then back here is where you're going to stand. And then the targets will be against the wall. And then I'll get my little shortcut up here. 
It makes it a lot quicker to get up instead of walking all the way around. So we'll just add these down here and that will be the railing. I was gonna do like a quarter log and then the railing above but then to do that I'd have to take these walls all apart and then add the quarter log in the wall. And to do that I have to take the ceiling down so I'm not doing all that. So this is what we got so far. We got our drying rack full of meats. We got our balcony all covered up and we got our target range almost finished. We just gotta add some more into the arrow room and we should be good to go for that. And then we can start on our first floor. We also gotta add a bunch of lights down here too. Jeez, get the gun out of my face there, Miss Virginia. Just trying to do my work. We got Kelvin's laying everywhere. And this hole in the wall is not staying, that's just easy access for, for logs. So let's go ahead and we'll lay this down here. This will be part of one of the targets. And another one right about here. I'm going to space this out because this one's quite a bit bigger than the other ones. Look at him just standing back there. Yeah, I got a stick too. Ah, now you're stuck. Let's make sure my structure damage isn't on. We'll just leave him do his thing. You can stay there. All the Kelvins ran away, but oh well, they weren't doing anything anyways. So we need another post here. And another one here. Yeah, that should do. And then we'll add a couple more of these little ones. On the side, we'll kind of angle that down. So we can put a target in the middle there, put a target on the two posts in the back. Virginia came and marked him, I guess. There we go. Another one here. Now hopefully that's not blocking that. Uh, it's kind of far distance, but we should be okay. I think it would be pretty cool to add some targets on there. Should work good. If the targets work how I think they're going to work. If not, this is all a big waste of time. Okay, so we'll grab this. No, I don't want that there. I don't need anything else back here. So let's try one of these here targets, see how it's going to look. Come on, hopefully it works. Oh yeah, I see it. Well, they don't look the best, but they, I guess they work. I wonder if I could just put them on a stick. Because these logs aren't really working the best. But they are holding them, so. I guess it is what it is. Could be worse. So the sticks actually do work. So I could take these off, add some sticks. I wish I knew that from the beginning. So we'll take off another one of these targets and then we'll put another stick down right about here. And then we'll put these targets on those sticks. Now we need some over here though. Oh, there it is. Right about there. Another one on the end. There. So now we just gotta remove these targets and slap them on the sticks. If we can. It's hard to get them straight though. There we go.
There, now we're all targeted up. So let's try this, see what happens. I don't know if they're gonna fall down or or what. It'd be cool if they make holes. You can see actually where we're shooting. Let's see how that worked. Oh yeah. So at least it does hold the arrows, so that's the that's the main thing. Get someone growling outside, so let's go check that out. Oh, he was watching us. Virginia blasted him through the wall. Yeah, you better run. I don't mess around when Virginia's here. I don't see any other ones. Sure, I'll take that stick. So let's go check it out from up here. I have no idea what these big rooms are going to be, but we'll fill them in as I get to it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. You can almost shoot from up here as well, but I'm going to add some chairs up here, I think. And we got to add all of those lights. There's going to be like a hundred light bulbs for this place is the location so we're just gonna go zipline over to the store right quick I wish you could store light bulbs on the shelves but for some reason it doesn't let you so we're almost there just taking a trip down to the store I got a couple of ingredients I gotta drop off to and fill up the shelves a little bit and there we finally made it so now we just gotta take a little hike through the woods and we should be right there. Bang. There, we made it to the store. If I can get out of the water. So this is my store if you guys haven't seen it. In the previous videos I got pretty much every item on a shelf here. And then upstairs is all my weapons and armor. And then over here we got our all of our armor. We still gotta finish building these guys up a little bit. Definitely takes a while trying to fill these guys up too. Got a lot of armor sitting right here. We got more pieces on the shelf to put together. Um I think that guy's just gonna be a stick armor. I only don't I don't want a whole bunch of those anyways. We got our electricity everywhere. So we're gonna go back down, drop a couple things on the shelves. Get rid of our medicines. And then what else do we got we can get rid of? Somebody stole these, that should have been full. I hate how stuff goes missing or stolen or whatever happens to it. Got one more liquor bottle. I think that's all we got to drop off. Oh, I guess we have a couple cans and we can get rid of these chocolate bars too. Energy bars. Almost got a whole shelf full of those. I think we had, a, yeah, a couple of MREs. And then we'll drop off our cans of cat food. I guess we don't have any. Never mind. And just our cups of ramen. There. So now we got the shelves all loaded up. I'm gonna head on back to our mansion, get back to work. But I think for now, I'm gonna call this an episode. So I appreciate you all for watching. Thanks a lot for sticking along if you made it this far. And if you don't mind, please leave a like. It definitely helps me out a lot trying to get my video shared out there. And if you like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot, everybody.